We're here with Alan Floho, who's going to talk to us about his little DIY dosing system. Did you come up with this, or is this something yeah. you... Okay, well, let's hear about it. Okay, well, it's a simple DIY two-part doser system. Um, pretty cheap setup. I think it cost me about $50 to put it together. Um, you still need to um, get the timers, which uh, on a peristolic system, you still have to do that. So okay. not including that, you've got... Uh, uh, two, um, what are these, aqualifters, Tom's aqualifters um, from Marine Depot, about $14 each. Right. And then um, the rest of it is just like, this, these are old Salifert bottles, nice. uh, tubing from PetSmart or whatever. Right. And this is actually um, a uh, gang valve, an air gang valve. Nice. I don't really use it. Uh, it's more of a mounting system rather than like a, a valve system. Yeah, I see it dripping right now. Yeah, and then the, the, the ball valves are actually from a hardware store. They're just... Uh, For irrigation. Yeah, irrigation, exactly, but they, they, they have micro valve controls on them. Okay, and I see you have check valves down here. Why is that? Yeah, and that's just to prevent the backflow, and that helps with the timing because uh, we've got the timer set up um, to deliver up to eight times per day. And I like these digital timers. They come from uh, a regular hardware store. But the digital ones, can you can program up to eight times a day at one-minute increments. So let's say um, your two-part, you need, uh, I don't know, let's say like 32 milliliters of, of calcium supplement um, and uh, alkalinity. So divided that up uh, by eight, that would be uh, four milliliters per minute. Okay, and so I've got them dripping at about a, uh, a drop per second. That gives me about, I don't know, six milliliters per, per minute. So when you do the math, uh, I think that comes out to like four minutes times eight. Um, Very specific and, here. We have to do yeah. a lot of math. You know, some of us don't really finish school. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> but once you get past that right. um, and, and you, you get it tweaked, it's pretty much um, you know, a no-brainer. You just kind of let it run. You just got to check the drip, the drip rate a little bit. And um, I've been able to rely on it for like six months without really having to tweak it too much. Well, this is really nice for like a nano system. So if we went with a bigger system, you just need a bigger reservoir of each product? Yeah, or just refill it more often. I like to keep it um, small in case for some reason it would just uh, run, keep running. Um, you, you're not going to kill your tank, you know, just a safety measure. But yeah, I've used gallon-sized ones. The nice, things about, the nice thing about these timers, too, is if they... If they happen to go out, mm -hmm. the default is off. It's not on. So nice. that's another safety feature, too. And usually with these kind of digital timers, they have like a battery so they don't lose their settings, which I like. Because with power going out, if it's a timer, a, a mechanical one, it doesn't know what time it is. It's yeah. off, and so it might not work right. And this is always hooked up to your tank. It runs every day for the certain time you set it to. Up to, up to eight intervals per day. That's only 50 bucks? Yeah. Man, you should be selling these as kits. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I love this DIY. We're all about DIY on Reef Addicts. So thank you so much for telling us about it.